Welcome to this video on displaying a message when a cell is selected in Microsoft Excel. So I'm not meant talking about comments here, I'm talking about a pop-up message that will appear when a cell is selected on a worksheet. And this is really great if you're creating something that other people are going to have to input into to give them a bit of guidance and a bit of support. It doesn't stop them from entering anything into that cell, but it just helps them understand a little bit more detail. And you can decide what you want to put in that. So let's talk about how to do this. So what you need to do is select the cell that you want that message to pop up in. So I'm just going to select this completed by cell at the top here. And then I'm going to go to the data tab. So the data tab at the top, let me click on that one and open that one up and then I want to go to data validation if you're not sure which one it is then hover and remember Excel will pop out for you and give you a bit of an idea so I'm going to click on data validation when the data validation pop-up box appears like it has for me I'm going to select the input message tab so I want the second tab across and I'm going to leave the show input message when cell is selected and then I just need to put in what I want to put in there so you need a title and a message so let's put a warning so I'm just going to type in anything I want it doesn't matter you've got a maximum of 32 characters though on your title and 256 characters on the message so you can't put war and peace in there, but you can put a lot in there. And once you're done, you can press OK. And you can see there that I've popped up already. So if I click away, that will disappear. But if I click back on that cell, it will pop up immediately. Now, like I said, it doesn't stop the user from entering anything in there, but it just almost gives a bit of instructions and a bit of support to ensure that if someone else is completing this spreadsheet, then they know what to put in there without you having to do anything else, without you having to use comments or anything. It will just pop up automatically. And really great if you're going to need to use this consistently as well. So remember, you're selecting on the cell where you want the message to appear. You go into data and data validation, and then you're going to select the input message tab. Ensure show input message when cell is selected is checked. And then put your message in. You've got a title and you've got a message, and you can click on OK. And if you want to take that off at any point, you can just go back and do the same thing. Go to data, go to your data validation, an input message. I'm going to clear all and I'm going to click OK. And that will remove that message. So if you only want it there for a short while to support something, then that's great. And you can take it off because you may not need it yourself. But you can easily go back in and put that one back on. So a nice quick top tip here for you if you're working in Excel. And especially if you are sharing and creating spreadsheets and sheets for other users to help guide them in what they need to be inputting into the cells. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.